Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the bacterium Haemophilus influenzae. First, general characteristics. Haemophilus influenzae was formerly called as Pfeiffer's bacillus or bacillus influenzae. And, and this Haemophilus influenzae is the first free living organism to have its entire genome sequenced in the year 1995. This Haemophilus influenzae have 18 lakhs 30,140 base pairs of DNA and 1,740 genes. And regarding the Gram's classification, it is a Gram negative bacteria and its shape is cocobacillus shape or pleomorphic rods. It is non motile in nature and its size is ranging from 0.3 micrometer to 1 micrometer. It belongs to the family Postrella CA, capsules absent, endospores also absent. The mode of respiration observed in the Haemophilus influenzae is aerobic respiration or facultative anaerobic respiration. The optimum temperature required for the growth of Haemophilus influenzae is 35 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius. The optimum pH is 7.6. Regarding the habitat, the Haemophilus influenzae are present in the mucous membrane of the upper respiratory tract of the humans. Regarding the discovery, Haemophilus influenzae was discovered by Richard Friedrich Jones Pfeiffer. He was the German physician and bacteriologist and this Haemophilus influenzae was discovered in the year 1892. Serotypes or serological types of Haemophilus influenzae. Two major categories of Haemophilus influenzae were defined. They are uncapsulated Haemophilus influenzae strains and encapsulated Haemophilus influenzae strains. Encapsulated Haemophilus influenzae strains were classified on the basis of their capsular antigens. The six generally recognized types of encapsulated Haemophilus influenzae are Haemophilus influenzae A, Haemophilus influenzae B, Haemophilus influenzae C, Haemophilus influenzae D, Haemophilus influenzae E, and Haemophilus influenzae F. Among the six serotypes, Haemophilus influenzae serotype B was responsible for more than 95% of infections because it is highly virulent due to the presence of polysaccharide capsules. Biotypes or biochemical types of Haemophilus influenzae. Haemophilus influenzae, the species is subdivided into eight biotypes. They are Haemophilus influenzae biotype 1, Haemophilus influenzae biotype 2, Haemophilus influenzae biotype 3, Haemophilus influenzae biotype 4, Haemophilus influenzae biotype 5, Haemophilus influenzae biotype 6, Haemophilus influenzae biotype 7, and Haemophilus influenzae biotype 8. Disease transmission of Haemophilus influenzae. Respiratory droplet transmission as well as via contact with discharge from nose and throat during the infection period is the major mode of transmission of Haemophilus influenzae infection. The portal of entry is most commonly the nasopharynx region. Virulence factors of Haemophilus influenzae. The ability of the microorganisms to cause an infection or disease is called as virulence and the term virulence was first coined by the scientist Louis Pasteur. Virulence factors are the factors which are responsible for causing an infection in human beings. Here, Haemophilus influenzae have five virulence factors. They are pili and non pilous adhesins, polysaccharide capsule, lipopolysaccharides and glycopeptides, lipopolysaccharide A, and finally IgA1 protease. The first virulence factor, pili and non pilous adhesins, mediates the colonization of the horopharynx with Haemophilus influenzae. The second virulence factor, Polysaccharide capsule contains ribose, ribitol, and phosphate, and commonly referred as polyribitol phosphate or PRP. 
the third virulence factor lipopolysaccharides and glycopeptides damage the respiratory epithelium of the human beings and the fourth virulence factor lipopolysaccharide a initiate the meningeal or meningit or meningital inflammation in the human beings and the final virulence factor and iga1 protease facilitate the colonization of the organism on mucosal surfaces by interfering with the humoral immunity of the human beings an incubation period of haemophilus influenzae is 2 to 4 days and the infective dose required to cause an infection is 2 lakh organisms pathogenesis of unencapsulated haemophilus influenzae non encapsulated or unencapsulated haemophilus influenzae colonize the upper respiratory tract in virtually all peoples within the first few months of life haemophilus influenzae organisms can spread locally and cause diseases in ears sinuses and lower respiratory tract in ears it causes otitis media in sinuses it causes sinusitis and in lower respiratory tract it causes bronchitis and pneumonia and finally disseminated disease however is relatively uncommon in the pathogenicity of unencapsulated haemophilus influenzae pathogenesis of encapsulated haemophilus influenzae encapsulated haemophilus influenzae particularly serotype b and biotype 1 is uncommon in the upper respiratory tract or is present in only very small numbers but is a common cause of disease in unvaccinated children it results in meningitis epiglottitis and cellulitis in the unvaccinated children a pile and non pilous adhesions mediate colonization of the oropharynx with haemophilus influenzae the cell wall component of the bacteria like lipopolysaccharides and low molecular weight glycopeptides impair ciliary function leading to the damage of the respiratory epithelium finally the bacteria can then be translocated across both epithelial and endothelial cells and can enters the blood high grade bacteremia can develop with dissemination to the meninges clinical diseases of haemophilus influenzae Haemophilus influenzae results in three clinical diseases. The first clinical disease is meningitis. The second clinical disease is epiglottitis, and the third clinical disease is cellulitis. The first clinical disease caused by the haemophilus influenzae is meningitis. Haemophilus influenzae type B was the most common cause of pediatric meningitis and it is observed in 3 to 18 month age children but the situation changed rapidly when the conjugated vaccine becomes widely used disease in non human patients results from the bacteremic spread of the organisms from the nasopharynx and cannot be differentiated clinically from other cause of bacterial meningitis the initial presentation is a 1 to 3 day history of mild upper respiratory disease after which the typical signs and symptoms of meningitis appears symptoms includes behavior or mental status change fever vomiting headaches and signs of meningeal irritation such as stiff neck in older children or adults finally the mortality is less than 10 percentage in patients who receive prompt therapy The second clinical disease caused by the haemophilus influenzae is epiglottitis. Epiglottitis is an inflammation of epiglottis region. Epiglottis region is a leaf-shaped flap in the throat. This region is epiglottis region. And the epiglottitis can be a life-threatening disease. Epiglottitis is a pediatric disease observed in 2 to 4 years old children. Some of the common symptoms of epiglottitis are fever, severe sore throat, abnormal high pitched sound while breathing, difficult breathing, difficult swallowing, drawling, drawling means saliva flowing outside from the mouth and feeling better when sitting up. 
Since the introduction of the vaccine, the incidence of this disease has also decreased dramatically in children and remain relatively rare in the adults. The third clinical disease caused by the haemophilus influenzae is cellulitis. Like meningitis and epiglottitis, cellulitis is a pediatric disease caused by the haemophilus influenzae that has largely been eliminated by vaccination. Initially, patients have fever and cellulitis characterized by the development of reddish blue patches on the cheeks. The diagnosis is strongly suggested by the typical clinical presentation and lack of documented vaccination in the child. Lab diagnosis of haemophilus influenzae. The first diagnostic method is microscopic examination. Under gram staining, haemophilus influenzae was observed as gram negative rods ranging in shape from cocobezilli to long pleomorphic filaments. In capsule staining, the capsules are occasionally present and in motility test, the haemophilus influenzae cells are completely non-motile in nature. Next, call morphology in culture medium. In blood agar, haemophilus influenzae was observed as translucent, low convex or flat pin pointed colonies. This is called as satellitism. In chocolate agar, bacterial culture of haemophilus influenzae is performed on chocolate agar with added X factor and V factors. Hemin is called as X factor. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide or NAD is called as V factor. After the addition of X factor and V factors, the plates were incubated at 37 degrees Celsius in a CO2 enriched incubator. After incubation, colonies are grayish, transparent, smooth, low convex or flat with a slightly splayed out, entire edge, mucoid and pale. In McConkey agar, haemophilus influenzae produce non-lactose fermenting colonies. In Levinthal's broth or Flight's broth, haemophilus influenzae shows uniform turbidity. Next biochemical test for haemophilus influenzae. Catalase test positive, authorase test positive, urease test variable, indole test variable, methyl red test or MR test negative, VP test or Vergus Prescott test negative and citrate utilization test negative. Latex agglutination test is the serological test used for the detection of antigens in haemophilus influenzae and the molecular diagnostic method used for the diagnosis of the haemophilus influenzae are 16S rRNA sequencing and polymerase chain reaction or PCR. Finally, treatment and prevention. Haemophilus influenzae infections are treated with broad spectrum cephalosporins, amoxicillin, azithromycin, deoxycycline or fluoroquinolones. Susceptibility to amoxicillin should be documented. Active immunization with conjugated PRP or conjugated polyribitol phosphate vaccines prevents most haemophilus influenzae type B infection in most of the children. Dear viewers, that's all about the bacterium haemophilus influenzae. Thank you for your support. Thank you.